every day you learn something new. And today's lesson is... Hi guys, so let me put this right here. I am about to go <laughs> get my nails taken off. Since my graduation in May, I've had a thin layer of acrylic slash overlay, whatever you want to call it, over my nails just so that they um, didn't break. My nails are actually this long. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, yeah, you can see it. These are my real nails, but this nail, uh, it's just like something stuck in between the acrylic and the, it's another reason. I've been getting fill in since May, basically. I'm grabbing these rings because I can't like, I don't want to put them on my hand right now because I'm about to go to the nail shop and get my nails. Oh my God, I'm everywhere right now. And get my nails taken off because I'm going through a humbling phase in life, a broke phase in life. to so where I don't need to be paying to get my nails done every three weeks, even once a month. Um, I just don't have the means for it right now. And, um... So, I'm about to go get my nails taken off, and then I'm gonna go to um, the store five below and get like one of those cell phone accessories that you can stick your phone up in your car. So I don't have to keep holding my phone while I'm reading the GPS, cause that's how I get into trouble driving. Um, adulting is really, it's a terrible thing to have to do, but it's what everybody's gotta do. And I want you guys to feel like I'm discouraged. I'm not discouraged at all. I'm going to accomplish every goal and dream that I have. It's just right now in this moment, it's just like overwhelming. That's what I can say. It's overwhelming right now. I'm not discouraged. I'm not. I can't say I'm a bit sad and unhappy just because the overwhelming is like, I won't say I suffer from anxiety, but my anxiety is crazy. So like last night, I was literally like about to have a panic attack trying to go to sleep. So... I was doing like breathing exercises to calm down and then I finally went to sleep but and I prayed so it's just like even after I prayed my anxiety was just through the roof so I just hopefully I can have a relaxing day um I mean I apply to places every day I don't really know what else to do to get a job and then ride around and find places to get a job. But I need to get to Philly to do that because that's where most of the apply and store jobs are. Cleveland really doesn't have a lot of jobs. It just sucks. It's just not that much here. So, um, I got a lot of stuff to figure out and whatnot. And I'm going to figure it out. So, I'm going to talk to you guys when I get, um, to get my nails off and stuff. So, all right, I'm going to talk to you later. All right, guys, so um, one thing that I do want you guys to comment down below is if you guys can figure out, as you can see, my camera just sitting here. If you guys know <clears throat> of like a thing that I can buy to get my camera to stay still, because I want to start shooting more stuff in my car, which should be a lot of fun. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys know what I should use. But I'm about to go inside of Crystal Nails. Y'all know my, nail, my little nail spot. I got all my rings in my pocket and get these beautiful things removed so I can live a more humble lifestyle. And um, also my nails probably need to breathe, get re-strengthened honestly before I do anything to them because when I go back to getting my nails done, I ain't never stopping. So I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. Okay, guys, so I got my nails done and I got the thing from Five Below. I hate my freaking nails. She had to, like, scrape them down so that they can all be smooth. She popped the, oh, my God, y'all. If y'all ever go to get y'all acrylics just taken off, I swear to God, just get them soaked off. Don't do what I just did. I just did the dumbest thing ever. I had really healthy, healthy, healthy nails. First of all, if you have healthy, strong nails, don't get acrylic overlay or nothing. If your nails break, just keep them at this nice little length right here and they won't break because that's how I'm going to keep this is how I'm going to keep my nails, like, the length I'm going to keep my nails until, like, I'm super successful in my career and I can have them however long I want them. Then I'll do that. But I just think on a guy, the way I like my nails to look on me, I like them at this length. This is how I was normally, this is the length I was normally getting them at, fingertip length. And then 
I just like I let my last I let a nail lady at my school like around like April or March probably April I let her convince me she was like I like this length I like this length keep it here and I'm like all right cool but then when I kept it at that length my nails kept on breaking so then I eventually went to get like I had like three or four nails that already had acrylic and a tip on it because my nail had broke off because it was so long but it's my natural nail even though they're strong just like I don't know I'm a busy person so I guess I just bang my hands around a lot and I um ended up having I was just like screw it because I got my nails done like a week before graduate no I got my nails done like the Tuesday before I was graduating I wasn't graduating until that Friday so I'm like I'm scared that one of my nails is gonna break this was in May I'm like they you know my nails good for breaking whenever they feel like it because I do a lot and I was doing a lot of moving if y'all remember around May I was doing a lot of moving back and forth and I knew I was gonna be packing stuff up to go up to school and for graduate and just doing all of that I'm gonna like I'll be really mad if one of my nails breaks so I was like you know what screw it. I'm just gonna get overlay over all my nails a thin layer I was like I just want a thin layer over all my nails so that I can ensure that they won't break before graduation and since then you know once you get overlay on your nails you just be addicted because they be so strong you know that they're not gonna break you can live your life so then I was just getting 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 it all the way till now it was the end of July and um so that's what May June July it's three months of having overlays and then when I got them off, I was really taking a quick route because, like I told you, I'm trying to meet Brianna because she's taking me out to the movies, and um, which I'm about to call her right now. I need to speed this up. But either way, get them soaked off. Don't get them. They can pop them off or they can soak them off. If they pop them off, it literally just rips off like a whole layer of your nail, and it doesn't hurt, but it just feels weird. It's like, ugh. it's like you don't know that your nails have nerves in them until like you find out. But now they're like really thin. They're like really freaking weak. I've never had nails that I can like bend down. Like all of them aren't as thin as huh, it like feels weird. Like it makes me cringe on the inside. It makes me like shiver because it's like ew I've never been able I've never had weak nails like that. So to be able to bend them down just feels really disgusting to me. Not that there's anything wrong with thin nails. It's just a feeling I'm not used to. So my body is like ew what? Like that's not how your body is is genetically designed like why are your nails like this so whether you have thin nails or thick nails if you have thin nails i can understand getting acrylic if you want your nails to be longer cool but no matter if you have acrylic for whatever reason if you have overlay acrylic whatever you want to call it do not get it popped off get it soaked off i took the quick way out and now i have these thin old nails i'm sure if they would have soaked them off and chipped them my nail would have been just as thick under Incoming so call from Mom. This is my mom. Mobile She's making sure I was able to get the thing. To Hello. Hello. Hey, um, I got it. It was only five dollars. Okay, I was gonna ask if, if they had palm olive this week, well, they're gonna ask you to get some uh, palm olive or don't. Oh no, they don't. Worry don't. About it. No, it's not like mm -hmm. a dollar store. It's not like a dollar store. They got like kid stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Alrighty, I'll talk with you later. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Alright, this is Brianna calling me. Well, real quick before I call Brie back, I got Phone the little completed. I got the little thing from um five below to hook my phone up to the vent, so that's good. I'll show you guys that in a few, but let me call Brianna back to see where she wants to meet. Basically, if it's a big portion where I'm supposed to be on the phone, for whatever reason, I'm offline. I need. I was not. So, so we just went inside the Solemn movie theater. I gotta tell y'all real quick. We still going to see Girls Trip, but we walk. We pay for the tickets. We walk in the theater, theater 12 to the right. Rihanna walk in. We talk about like old favorite characters, you know, Tiffany Haddish, all of that. And then she like, mm -mm. and then it hit me. I'm like, the smell. It, it, it did. It smelled like old people home, but it wasn't even that many old people in there. Like I don't understand how that aroma it was spread. Two goddamn people in there, and it smelled like a whole nursing home. Yeah, it Walks, smelled like balls. <sighs> fucking senior old night. Bingos, I don't know what the fuck it was. Bingo. It smelled like all of that. <laughs> Everything. It smelled like. Who smelled like, like a watch a movie? It's like a bunch of medication. That's it. A bunch of meds. That's really yeah. like they got ointments on their skin. Yeah. They had to take them, so it's on their breast. So, it's in their hair. <laughs> like, this heifer goes to go get a refund, and she like, it's the smell in here. <laughs> <laughs> they need the they need the um, air freshener. No, you know what that is. Not Humigate? air freshener. 
the water hose. They need oh, power wash. Power wash it? Yes, yes. <laughs> power wash that whole fucking thing out and carpet clean everything. Oh and my then God. They should just close down and <laughs> Yeah. They should try it again. Plus, they popcorn is $7. I'm, um, I want to see how much the popcorn is about to be. Now, I'm not saying y'all can't go there, but this particular Wednesday in Theater fucking 12. Mm -hmm. Don't go to Theater 12 at 1 o'clock on a Wednesday. Not the time, not the place. Not today. But um, we're going to go to Valley View. We're going to try our luck there. Yeah. Hopefully they make us cry. <laughs> hopefully they popcorn is $5.25 like I think it is. Because if it is, then I can afford it. But if it ain't, then we need to take a So, we're going to talk to you guys in a quick second when we get to Valley View. This was hilarious. I'm cracking up right now. Hi, guys. Welcome to the vlog. Oh, man, I just cut out all my good, like, Welcome to the vlog or whatever. I'm about to go um, pick up Brianna. What's today? Today's Monday! So I'm about to go pick up Bri. And then um, I am going to hang out with her. I think we're coming to my house, but we got some errands to make. So let's get it. I'm going to talk to y'all when I get in the car. Because me and my mom got to switch cars, I think. Yeah, me and my mom got to switch cars, so... I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in the car. Hey. My camera, I act like it's not gonna fall off there. Say hey to the book. I thought that was one of my college professors. I was about to be all kinds of messed up. Like, what? Why are you here? Right. <laughs> but. What was I wanting to say? I'm hungry as shit. I got some Chick Fil A. I just be craving Chick Fil A all the time now. Yeah, but I was eating it at Philly though. What's on? I don't know. Maybe you smell like birthday cake. You see, you got on some what? Okay. I'm all moving slow because I don't want my camera to fall off the top of my car. I need to get my life together. I'm gonna talk to y'all when we stop somewhere. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. I don't know. All right. So a bit excited. Pretty confident I'm gonna get it. Speaking it into existence. It's really hot in here though. interview I know what I need to say I'm gonna say it um, and yeah all right guys I am going to well I guess I can talk to him a little bit I'm just like really 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 trying hard to stay out of a depressed stage because at this point in my life right now I just feel like I'm at this huge standstill. I feel like nobody is like seeing my potential. I feel like I feel like nobody wants to help. I know nobody's gonna help you get to where you're going. But damn, like it's about networking and making connections. And <laughs> when you network and you make those connections and you build network relationships with people and then it's like turn around and then they don't want to help you. It's like what was all of that smiling in my face for? Like, it's just so hard to pull yourself out of feeling not good enough. Because that's basically at the bottom line what it is. Feeling like you're not good enough. But I guess that's just more growing I have to do. And knowing that I am good enough. And knowing that at first you don't succeed. You just try to pick yourself up. Try again. And try again. And try again. And try again. So you know, I don't I don't really like 
having sad vlogs. But I gotta be real with y'all. Like right now, I'm not in one of my happiest states right now. I'm not in the best mood all the time lately. I do a lot of thinking. I do a lot of. I feel like a bum right now. I feel like a straight up bum. And that's not who I am. So for me to feel like a bum is just really hard for me to push through that because I'm always working. I'm always working more than one job at a time. I mean, come on, I had an internship, a full-time job, and I was going to school last semester. Sleep was not a thing. And now I just got all this room to sleep and then I just find myself getting depressed and feeling like I'm not doing nothing. So hopefully with me having this job, and it's, it's a nice job, Hopefully with me having this job, I can better pull myself out of this funk and be busy -er, and it'll just push me to be busier instead of just having nothing to do. Because having nothing to do will push you to have more nothing to do. But as long as you're up, I mean at least the type of person I am, if you give me 24 hours and you tell me I don't got to do nothing, for some reason nothing's going to happen unless it's going to come out of that. So I gotta get up, get back up, get busy, save my money, have a plan A, have a plan B, and have a plan C. I finally have a plan B, plan B, plan C. Um, so, you know, it's just executing those plans at the end of the day. Because if you, if you do that, then who stops you with you? That's how I feel, so. I'm going to focus on driving. I'm gonna have to cut through some traffic. I'm about 10 minutes away, so I'm gonna get focused, think about some things, and uh, go in there to play this interview. So I will talk to you, unicorns, later. Hello? Yeah? So, hey guys, I'm gonna follow with my mom. So the interview went really, really, really good. Hello? Not surprise. Hello? Yeah, I said not surprise. Oh, I was about to say, what's the delay for? But um yeah, the interview went really, really, really well. Everybody liked my suit. Uh <laughs> but um they said that it's like a three round interview. Uh-huh. So, so this was the first round just to get your feet wet, then the second round would be like a, a you get to see everything that they were telling you. And then the third round is like a wrap up. Yep. And, oh, excuse me, and... Yeah, so, okay, well, I'm glad it went well. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Hello? Yeah, I'm downstairs. Okay. All right. Phone call completed. Oh, you want to you talk about a story? How about I got fired? <laughs> And my account is overdraft. And when is it going to get paid? Who knows? Who knows? I don't give a fuck because I'm sick of America. Everybody want to come over here and talk about we live this life. We get free to do all this type of shit. Ain't shit we free. ain't free to do a goddamn thing. Hold on, it's an old speedway. Oh, uh, it don't matter. This one. Yeah, this one closer. We <laughs> ain't free to do a motherfucking thing. Because everything you do costs something. This is the turn in Miami. That's right. what I meant. You're supposed to turn down there. They come up here to turn in on the highway. Uh, then I gotta teach this motherfucker how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They, they all look real ugly. I'm done talking to y'all. I feel like they always teaching me how to drive. There's always something to learn every day. <laughs> I didn't even want nothing. I'm just gonna get a share with this. I can't. I just wanted to get out the house. Like, who just makes somebody spin the house for us? Like, I really wish I could just partake in this with you. I need it right now. So I'm gonna just bask in the obvious. Oh, I just got this fixed. <laughs> I'm gonna drop your phone. Yo, how much? I don't even. Life is crazy. We got a dollar to loan a nigga. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you give me a, you give me a wine. This is the last five. Oh well, no, we gonna have to go to a different store because they don't got them here. They got. We can just go to a different store downstairs. They don't sell. They don't fucking sell, sell beer. Wait, a wine mile? Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> I don't got enough money for wine, sis. I don't like no wine. <laughs> That's my best friend. Now y'all see why we all crazy. But that is a real uh, thing of adulting. I'm gonna talk to y'all later.